I am very fortunate to be coming to Philippines at a critical moment uh, for the country. The administration of President Marcos Jr. has set a new tone on many issues that were of concern in the recent past. Uh, the decision to reopen the peace talks, the release of former Senator Laila de Lima, the acquittal of Nobel laureate Maria Ressa on tax uh, fraud charges are all positive signals. I am the third special rapporteur to visit the country officially since this administration came to power. So there is a willingness to engage with the UN. These are all positive signals. But they are not sufficient to turn the page decisively on the past. Tackling the grave and deep-seated human rights problems of the Philippines, many of which are related to my mandate, will require more fundamental and sustained reforms and also a clear commitment to accountability. The killing of journalists is the most egregious form of censorship and the Philippines remains a dangerous country for journalists. According to UNESCO, there are some 81 cases of killings of journalists that remain to be resolved. That is, they have not been investigated, prosecuted. Clearly, much more needs to be done to attack impunity. Violence against journalists and human rights defenders, as we all know, was particularly high during the Duterte administration. However, the past 18 months shows that the trend remains disturbing with four journalists killed since the new administration took office.